Okay, everybody, welcome back to the channel. We've got a bit of iron testing for you today and we've got tailor-made and we're gonna take a look at the P-Series irons. So we've got four irons in that P-Series. We've got the P790, P770, P7MC, which is the mid cavity, and the P7MB, the pure out blade. So we're gonna hit each of those irons, same shaft in every single one. And we're just gonna maybe show you how maybe the lofts are obviously gonna change as you work through those clubs, how then that potentially can change sort of ball flight, spin, everything like that, and possibly even that distance as well. And maybe give you guys some ideas of differences between those P-series irons from TaylorMade. Okay, so the P-series from TaylorMade. So P stands for players. So as you would maybe move out the Sim 2 product, your more game improvement, maybe as your game progresses and uh, you're gonna move in then into the possibly the P-series. So P770 is the first iron that you're gonna see in that range, which is hollow. It's still a fairly large club head, medium thick, uh, medium thick top line, and it's still fairly powerful. But then as you go into the player series, you're going in then to um, a forged head, We've got some tungsten still in there. So it's, it's, it's been a very, very popular iron because it ticks a lot of boxes. You know, you've got that more of that player's look down by the golf ball without it being ridiculously small. You've got the forgiveness there. You've still got some power there, but you've got a little bit of that forge sort of feel. So it aspires to a lot of golfers, maybe as a transition out of that game improvement iron into something like like this P790, how it, how it can sort of give you those sort of feels. Okay, so let's hit a few shots. P790, good looking iron down by that golf ball, a little bit of offset, medium to thickish top line still, but a very nice shaped head. And as we say, we've got a, a hollow head construction now, which is feel, filled with a foam. So obviously all trying to really sort of create around sort of flexing of the club face, creating that speed. And this seven iron is coming in at 30.5 degrees of loft. So it's still fairly strong. And it feels really good. I mean, a hollow construction, but it is, as I've just said, it's filled with a substance. So the sound is really, is really good. It's not a clicky sound. It's again, it's that different sort of sound. It's not that explosive sort of power off that club face in a way. And this is the second generation of P790. The obviously I did the original one and then they've just revamped it slightly. That's a nice shot. Yeah, it's a really good high towering ball flight. Great feel, great sound to that. So probably this P790 is probably being one of, the, I think, uh, don't quote me on this, but I think it's been one of TaylorMade's best selling irons today. I think, you know, as I say, it does tick a lot of boxes as you progression out of that game improvement iron. It probably allows golfers to play more, like, what they aspire to, that players club or associated more with that players club, that forge club that looks like a blade. We know it's not a blade, but it looks like a blade. So bag appeal and everything like that is, is, is you know, very desirable, isn't it? But he's still got that forgiveness. Okay, so that's P790. Good feeling golf club there, pretty powerful golf club. Uh, obviously we're gonna see as we change into the other models, as loft changes, obviously we're gonna keep a little eye on spin and everything like that. So but let's move into the 770. Okay, so same shaft into the P770 head. So fairly recent addition for TaylorMade in the P lineup. And I think this is, again, is another really good option. So ultimately it looks very similar to the P790 um, side by side. You know, it looks like a blade. It's not, it's hollow again. We've got uh, the speed foam in there as well, but really it's just a little bit more like a compact version of the P790. So a little bit more of a, a slimmer top edge, a little bit of a shorter blade length, possibly a little bit of less offset, I think, very minimal. Um, it's just a little bit of a neater and more compact head size. Again, maybe for that player who's progressing out of P790, wants something with a little bit more control, but still striving for a little bit of power and speed off that club face. This is what the 770 is sort of offering. Loft wise now, a little bit more loft. Again, it's working around a little bit more playability, a bit more control in this type of iron. So 7 iron now is 33 degrees of loft, so a touch more loft. Okay, we can see, in, well, a noticeable difference of height there. That's climbed really high on that shot. It'd be interesting to look at that spin number straight away on that first one. Yeah, so 5,900 on that one. We know 
spin will just fluctuate around a little bit on terms of uh, strike location but just a little bit more of that spin as you'd expect to sort of see with that extra bit of loft so possibly won't be as long a hitting as the 790 but hopefully we're going to gain a little bit more control okay so that was a little bit of a skinny shot little bit lower in that club face you can see on that strike location on the screen touch heel and that's maybe where this sort of speed slot as they call it into the sole of the golf club will help on those particular uh, shot so you can see ball speed there at 120 not a huge drop off of ball speed if any at all where they get a little bit of flexion of that that slot in the bottom so again we've got some tungsten in the head we've got some help with the the foam inside in terms of trying to create that face flex and then low uh, strikes we've got that little bit of flex in it in that slot in the sole so still offering a bit of technology there for those slight imperfections on those strikes but again playing position it's a great looking head i think is this 770 beautiful shaping yeah again good strike very similar sort of sound and characteristics to to the 790 with that 770 so as i say this has been a more recent introduction into the tailor-made lineup of the p series Again, that's a good strike it's a lovely ball flight you can just see it's a little bit higher on that flight in comparison to the 790s you're going to expect that extra little bit of loft hopefully a little bit more of that control in there okay right so there's five shots hit with a p770 let's move on right okay so moving into p7mc so mc standing for mid cavity so we are now into what i would say is a really beautiful looking golf club so sole gets a lot thinner now we lose a bit of technology and when i say technology a bit of help in a way so we're now losing that speed slot in the sole okay which we had which helped as we maybe just saw with the slightly low uh, strikes we've got no tungsten in the head so they're not moving tungsten around to increase moi anything like that and we've just got a very small cavity so obviously it's not hollow we're now into fully forged uh, piece of metal down by that golf ball and this is a beautiful looking golf club for me tiny bit of offset there very sort of square blade um, compact head medium top line maybe a fraction thinner than 770 and um, just a beautiful looking uh, golf club there so loft now in this is going up again so we're now into 34 degrees of loft so more of that traditional sort of lofting so this is a distance club as you'd expect but more of a controllable golf club and that feels amazing when i did an initial review i was really impressed with this iron it felt just amazing it was such a good sound such a good feel to it you know i think with that sole being a little bit narrow turf interaction i know we're hitting off a mat at the moment but turf interaction it will be a little bit more improved with this type of iron that that probably that better player is actually looking for oh, and that feels and sounds absolutely amazing there's a difference there and i know we just sort of said with the the 790 and 770 the hollow but they are filled with a foam so they do sound really good some hollow some brands that do hollow uh, constructions aren't filled with anything and i'm just for me the the the, the sound waves were going to rattle around the inside it will sound very clicky um the 790 770 don't but then this is just another level of that feel and that um it feels like really sort of soft you can see spin numbers just popping up a tiny bit more again as you're going to expect touch more loft the sound of that is just unbelievably good it's true forged sound you've probably just seen these ball flights moving quite a bit what look like left to right and then they straighten up a little bit and that's because we've got quite a strong left to right wind out here today uh, but i've got track man normalized so it'll track the ball as with the wind but then it'll recalculate it as if there was no wind so that's where you'll just see that slight adjustment of that ball flight on screen Ooh, right okay that's a that's in that slightly low heel see that ball speed is going to drop off so that's possibly then when in, when you move into the mc iron and probably more so when you get into the mb in a minute is those imperfections and strike you're just going to maybe get punished that little bit more drop a little bit more drop of speed you definitely get that feedback where you've absolutely hit it on that club face which i think is a good thing 
yeah that's stunning that's really i've really enjoyed hitting that big fan of that um that particular iron the looks the sound okay right there's a 7 mc hit let's move into the pure blade right so now into the pure muscle back so mb stands for muscle back it's a beautiful looking blade a little bit different on the on the back we're not, you're not going to see a lot of technology happening in a bladed golf club it's just literally a slither of metal but we have got that little bit of a pointed like a triangle sort of point in the back there again that's probably just around trying to get a little bit more mass around that that sort of hitting area maybe just trying to work a little bit of cg placement but apart from that it is as clean as you are going to look no bells and whistles nothing like that at all very traditional looking golf club again behind that ball it's small it's compact very little offset and now more slimmer on that top line fantastic looking golf club i probably want to say with the more modern day blades and this isn't just tailor-made this is probably a lot of the blades nowadays is they're much more forgiving i feel than the old traditional blades the old ones were so small and so thin on the top line they were they were like button eyes, weren't they? But so I think they're definitely more forgiving and certain blades from certain brands are more forgiving than, than, than others. So they're maybe not as scary as what they used to be. Uh, it's just really how you adapt and feel to these. And obviously the off-center hits might not be as, 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 as probably as forgiving as you're gonna see maybe with that MC, definitely from what we see in the, the 717, 790. Okay, and again, that feels wonderful. So this 79, We've gone up a little bit more in loft now and we are 35 degrees of loft so it's not strong obviously at all very weak on the lofts compared to more modern day golf clubs now so clearly it's not a distance hitting golf club again it's all about control workability you know we don't want any sort of freaky flyers with this in the stronger loft we want to be more predictable on that front to back dispersion it's a little bit low in that club face maybe touching that heel yeah you feel it that's where you're going to get that feedback look at that ball speed drop just short of 114 or 114 there okay it's not doing too bad accuracy wise but you just know about it as soon as you miss that center there's no sort of buffers on this is there but it does look and feel amazing and that was a better strike so it's that sort of flight that that sort of climbs it hangs it's you can see coming into land with that you see land angle there 46 degrees that spin sort of up to sort of six six up to six seven probably touching seven thousand on some of those with that loft you just know you've got loads of control when that comes into into land again really good strike it's a strong left to right wind out there today so as I said, this flight will just straighten up a little bit. There we go. A bit more spin on that one. And again. All coming out of a very similar window. Very consistent on that window. As you'd expect from this sort of iron. Okay, so there's five shots hit with the 7 MB. Let's go and look at a few numbers between all those irons and just see how um, the flight and spin and, and the performance of those changes we work through those different heads and different lofts. Okay, so we'll start off with the dispersion rings to, uh, to fire things off and obviously we're going to see a difference here because of the loft and change. So just going back to the 790 in the white, we've got the 770 in the yellow, we've got the P7MC in the pink and then the pure blade MB in the turquoise. So clearly difference of distance there through that loft and then maybe a little bit of an interesting one to look at is the side on bird's eye view of these ball flights as we go through so again the white here is the 790 and then we move into the yellow of the 770 that flight just increases the height of it a little bit more lose a tiny little bit more distance we then move into the mc and you see that flight possibly just come down at it even though i've gone up a degree of loft it's just come down maybe that's my influence looking at the inc more loft i feel like i can cover it a little bit more i think we caught a couple a little bit low in the club face with the mc so obviously that's just dropped that down and then the blade there you can see obviously landing a little bit short as you'd expect and then we'll move into the um averages here and i've put these as averages i've compressed all the shots into the averages so i can fit it all on one screen otherwise you can't see it all at once so we're not going to show each and every shot we've hit individually but averaging there you can see club head speed as you expect is going to be pretty much the same i've said that the mb was a little bit slower there maybe just me being a little bit more nervous because it's a blade not wanting to miss it possibly looking at ball speed 
we see 124.7 the 790, just dropping a little bit to 122, dropping again 120.8, and then obviously dropping again with the blade. So as we've gone up in loft, we would naturally see a reduced ball speed because of the loft changes. And then the, the launch angle reflects that a little bit as well. Just that one exception of that MC, as I say, I think we caught a couple a little bit low in the club face there. Look at the spin, again ties in, you see 5363 average with a 790, that loft at 35, uh, sorry, 30.5 30 degrees of loft. Moving up to 57, sorry, 5972 with a 33 degrees, 63, and then into the 71 of that blade. So that will obviously affect, you know, ball speed, a um, little bit more spin, you can see then the drops off in the distances. Um, so really, four models here that are in that player's category but performing very very different from each other right okay so interesting test there working through the models in the p range now obviously there is the tiger iron as well uh the p7 tw iron which is obviously tiger's that particular iron, which is for me is even slimmer than that mb to be honest uh, but that's a little bit of a one-off on its one it's on its own to be honest but they're the sort of four main players irons you're going to see in the telemade lineup obviously different loss there so this is again you've got possibilities here of comboing sets haven't you between each two i think a standout for me as a personal favorite is that mc iron i really enjoy that i think the look of it is great it's just that the mb obviously just gets a little bit neater a little bit more scarier there the mc for me is is a is a winner for, in, in my honest opinion but i can also see how 790 is being one of probably Telemade's most popular iron because of the looks, the feel, but also the power and the forgiveness. It's ticking a lot of boxes there for, for golfers who require a little bit of those elements. Um, so post comments down below, let me know your thoughts. Have you got any of those irons in your bag? Love to hear your thoughts as to why they've gone in the bag. Was it through a fitting session? Did you try different models? You got certain, obviously good results out of a certain iron, so post your views down in the comments section down below. If you enjoyed the video and you haven't subscribed, appreciate you just hitting that subscribe button. Just trying to grow the channel as best we can. Loads more golf content coming your way. Hopefully we'll catch up with you all very soon.